Oh, these look so good. You know, I always saw myself as the third Dolan triplet. What do you guys think? Do you know who he is? No, do you? Guys, I was just kidding. But do you? Do you want to make a run for it? Let's do it. Three, two, one. Yo, what up, man? Yo, man, what's good? Just got set on the belt, what up, bro? <laughs> there you go. What's up, Ethan? How you boys doing? Good, man. Hell yeah. Yourself. Dude, I'm doing well. I'm doing your workout right now. It's absolutely kicking my ass. Did you get the handstands yet? Not yet, not yet. We're going to get there soon. Let the people know who you are. And they probably know you, though. I'm Grayson. This is Ethan. We are the Dolan Twins together. I appreciate you boys making this video happen. Yeah, of course, bro. I'm, I'm excited to see it. Let's just say the pancakes were very good. That's my recipe. It's good, man. I'll catch you guys. I'll catch you, brother. Thanks, Peace. Bro. For the few of you who don't know who the Dolan Twins are, here's a little background. They grew up only 30 minutes away from me in New Jersey. Fun fact, I played them in an 8th grade lacrosse championship, and we won. They both were athletes while growing up and quickly became known on the ancient app called Vine. <laughs> Remember that? Quickly rising to the top of social media, they made their way onto Instagram and YouTube, where they now have over 11 million subscribers. Yes, 11 million. While I share many similar interests with them, I knew I had to try out Grayson and Ethan's daily schedule, diet, and training. So today, I'm living like the Dolan Twins for 24 hours. Let's go, baby. What's going on everybody? Jesse James West here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today's gonna be an interesting video. We're trying to live like the Dolan Twins for 24 hours. We're gonna eat like them, we're gonna train like them, and we're gonna do everything that they would do in a day. So shout out to the boys, the Dolan Twins. Go follow them. Check them out. Ethan and Grayson, they're awesome guys, super down to earth, and I appreciate you guys for helping me make this video happen. Make sure you guys comment down below who else you want me to cover, whether that's a TikTok star, an Instagram influencer, a celebrity, an athlete, anyone, and I'm gonna live like them for 24 hours. And if you are new to the channel, all I'm gonna say is just consider subscribing, consider hitting the like button, it's up to you, but I would really, really appreciate it. Let's get into today's video. And Grayson posted on his social media saying that he's always known he's a morning person, but when it came to waking up early, he struggled to be consistent with it because he was always on his phone late at night and that he's currently working on getting better at those habits. So that's super awesome. I actually love getting up early as well. I wake up at like 5.30 lately. Ever since the Mark Wahlberg video when I got up at 2.30, it kind of threw my whole schedule off. So now I'm like, I'm up all the time. But as he mentioned in his Instagram post, you get a lot more done in the morning and you can focus on himself. The Dolentons make sure that they take care of themselves and that they are focused on their mental health along with their physical health. And I think that's awesome to see and awesome that they preach it to everyone else. But enough rambling, let's dive into meal number one. So for meal number one, we're gonna be trying out the Dolan Twin Famous Pancakes. They have them with strawberries, blueberries, and they are completely vegan. The boys recently went vegan and I think it's super awesome that they're doing that. I've never tried going vegan for an entire day. I think it's gonna be very interesting to get all my protein in and all my calories in, but it's definitely doable because the guys look great and they've been doing it for a while. So let's dive into meal number one. So Grayson has about 2,500 calories for the day and Ethan has about 1,900 as they both are dieting down and trying to get leaner. Since there's two of them and there's one of me, wouldn't it make sense to combine them and have both and have a massive cheat day? I think yes. So I'm gonna be eating Grayson's and Ethan's food throughout the entire day. So let's get cooking. Welcome back to another edition of Jesse's Kitchen. This is for one serving of the Dolan pancakes. We're gonna do one banana, half cup of non-dairy milk, and one cup of oats. That's literally it. You're gonna blend it up, and then you're gonna cook it just like regular style pancakes. But since we're having both, I'm gonna double everything, and let's feast. Just like you would with normal pancakes, let it spread nice and even. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. As you, like that does not get more satisfying. <laughs> Alright everyone, the time has come where we're gonna do an official taste test of the Dolan Twin Famous Pancakes. These bad boys are dense, they are nice looking, it's so simple and so easy, so definitely try this recipe out, but let's get into the taste test. We got strawberry, a blueberry, a little bit of syrup, sugar free of course. Honest taste test. Mmm, wow, they are thick, they are really good. And of course, we're sipping on some liquid addiction. 
I love you so much. Who needs a girlfriend when you got pancakes and you got coffee? Those are the two only things you need in your life. Add some strawberries to it and some sugar-free syrup. Don't even get me started. All right, we finished Grayson's pancakes. Now we gotta finish Ethan's. They are dense. I am extremely full, which is a good thing if you're dieting. And then there was one. Last bite. You know the words. Best bite. Look at this bad boy. You see that bad boy? Oh my God. All I can say is that people are lying if they say you can't eat good food when being vegan. Ethan Grayson, thank you. Those pancakes were phenomenal. I'm gonna give him a, I'm gonna give him a 10 out of 10. And that's rare. I normally at least give like a 9 out of 10. But I'm so full and so filled with all the sweetness that I had. Since I ate Grayson and Ethan's pancakes combined, I had 23 grams of protein, 158 carb, and 14 fat. So very high in carb, moderate in everything else. But if you cut that in half to what each of them would eat, it would be 11 and a half protein, 79 carb, and 7 fat, which is not bad at all. So the next thing on the list is to go on a morning walk. Now it's pretty awesome that influencers like Grayson and Ethan do morning walks and they also go for 10,000 steps because I myself as well do this every single morning. I find this helps my mental clarity, my creativity, and I kind of just plan out my day and it really gives me a lot of time to myself just to think and get my mind clear. So if you've never gone on a morning walk, trust me, do it. It's absolutely amazing. But for real, how nice are these? Now there are no Louis Vuitton shoes, but if Louis V's watching, I'm your guy. It's been a little while, the food is fully digested from meal number one, and we went on our walk. The boys told me, and as you can see by their social medias, they love avocado toast. I've never had it, I'm not kidding. I'm gonna try it out for the first time, give you a taste test and a full review, and then we're also gonna add in some protein. All right, beautiful people, it is time for me to try out avocado toast for the first time of my existence. I know it sounds crazy, but we got four pieces of whole wheat bread, and we got 80 grams of avocado. Put a little bit of salt on there. Hopefully that doesn't make me a madman. What can I say? I like things salty. First taste test. Smooth. That's really good. I feel like it's honestly better on whole wheat. We got two slices for Ethan and two slices for Grayson. I'm combining their diets and today's a cheat day for me because we eat like twins, not one of them. We're eating like both. Mm. Now when it comes to cheat days, it's really important to know that it's not a binge day, it's a cheat day. You're gonna increase your calories, whether that's by 25 to 50 percent, and you're gonna enjoy yourself, eat the foods that you normally don't, but you're not gonna go overboard and you're gonna have control with it. Key word being control. Last bite, baby. But there's one more thing we need to add. We got some protein to catch up on. We're gonna do one and a half for Grayson and one and a half for Ethan. I'm rocking the organic, vegan, transparent labs protein in chocolate flavor. This stuff tastes like candy bars, trust me. Use my code Jesse and the link is in the description and you get 10% off. By using my link, it supports me. But I wouldn't be telling you guys to take this if it wasn't actually really good. There's only a few vegan proteins that I really enjoy. I don't eat dairy, so that's why I have vegan protein already. So it works out really perfect because I know the Dolans are vegan, obviously, and they do have some protein supplements. It's really important to supplement protein powders in and not replace meals because obviously eating your food is gonna be better, you're gonna be a fuller. This is just a great way to quickly get some protein in. I think there's a better way to do this. Cheers. <gasps> I suck at chugging. Next up on the list, we're gonna be doing some yoga. And since we got the New Jersey humidity, it's practically hot yoga. And now you're a yoga instructor. I personally felt that after having the avocado toast, I was in the most zen mood I could get into. I've done yoga in the past, but I don't do it all the time. I definitely lack flexibility. And one thing that Grayson was telling me is that he really focuses on getting a lot of flexibility work and really stretching, especially lately. We're gonna try it out. We're gonna do some yoga. Hopefully we warm up and get loose. And then we got some more cardio to get in after that. I'm probably gonna tear my groin in half or uh, pull a muscle or something. So let's just see, and hopefully this doesn't and bad. I gotta say, my flexibility is better than I thought. Now we're gonna get into some cardio. Let's get the day rolling with some good vibes only because today is a fantastic day. Let's get it, baby. You're probably wondering what the hell I'm about to do. We're gonna go longboard and we're gonna bomb Giant Hill because that's what the boys are into. They're adrenaline junkies and so am I. I have not done this in a long time, but as a kid, this is all I did. Literally all I did was skateboard and uh, my mom's gonna have a heart attack. I got my lacrosse shoulder pads for a little bit more protection. We always wear protection. Got a leather jacket in case I fall and also so I look like a stud. Let's hit the road. Kids, do not try this at home. Yeah, 
That is what I call an adrenaline and a dopamine rush. This day is great. You guys live a great life, seriously. All right, so now we're gonna jump into Ethan and Grayson's personal workout. Grayson actually sent me his favorite exercises that he thinks I should try out, and we're gonna give him a go. I'm not a big calisthenic guy. I'm more of a bodybuilder and powerlifter, but it's gonna be super interesting to try out. They are prime examples that you can build an amazing physique and build a lot of strength and muscle, all while doing literally just bodyweight workouts. And you already know the vibe. Tarps off for the boys, come on now. We're gonna be focusing on body control and stamina. Those are two of my strong points, but uh, yeah, not on the bar. All right, so we got to do wrist mobility and then scapula pull-ups, and that's the warm-up. So let's dive into it. <laughs> so now we're going to go into some muscle-ups. I'm a big boy for muscle-ups. Pull-ups and then chin-ups, and then we'll move from there. For muscle-ups, we got to go for three to five reps. I may smack my head up there, so this will be pretty gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> so much harder than it looks. It's actually really f***ing hard. Oh, there we go. One. Oh, almost two. Oh, come on! Oh, I'll take three. I'll take three. Next up, we're gonna go into pull-ups. We're gonna do three sets of 15 to 20 reps. Not gonna lie, that's quite a lot. I think he had a little bit more faith in me than I have. Heard you call him loves, I show him pretty, it is for real. Son of God, not a son of Sam. <clears throat> keep it off the books and keep it coming in. It's the OFC, what I'm coming in. The inside caramel just like oh. Oh. For chin-ups, we're going with three sets, 10 to 15 reps. For me, it's probably gonna be five to 10. These damn legs are just too heavy. Let's be real. I could squat a lot, but I can't pull myself up. Now we're gonna go to Australian pull-ups, and I have to look this one up. I can put my feet up here, and you row yourself. All this body weight work, not too bad. It's that with the double serving of the pancakes. There we go. All right, that's gonna finish the pull portion of the workout. Let's get into the push. All right, next up, we're gonna be doing a plank hold for 15 to 20 seconds with a resistance band anchor point. I have this strap, I don't even know what you're gonna call it. We're gonna try this out. I don't even know how the hell. Oh, what do you do? That's so hard. Oh. I have no stability. I think I'm doing, I could be doing this wrong. <laughs> okay, oh, 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 we got it. We got it. I think. Uh, is this some sex toy? They don't call me Jesse James Dolan for no reason. Uh, I got it. Oh. So now we gotta do three sets of 15 to 20 second pseudo plank leans. He says he does it 24 inches from a wall. i am be honest, I don't know how a wall is involved with this. He's way more advanced, so we're just gonna do the basic pseudo plank lean. Hopefully I can do this. Let's see how it goes. Me home, about you, yeah. <laughs> this is actually like such a fun workout. This is the most fun living like video that I filmed of the series. And that says a lot. 15 seconds. Honestly, that sounds about right for me. The handstand push-ups. This is gonna be the hardest thing I think of the entire workout. Not that, no, this is all hard, honestly. He says that he does 30 to 40 reps. You guys are strong if you're doing 30 and 40 reps. Nope. Oh my God. So to finish off upper body, we're gonna do some handstands for max time. So I can do a backflip. I got I got some maneuver to me. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh, oh, you showed him? Of course, legs feed the wolves, so we gotta hit him. Single leg squats, three sets, ten reps. Oh.
We are made in the car and the next thing to do is to go pick up some impossible burgers from Burger King and then we're gonna make our own and compare them. And we're here with Chef Stelios. I am the real chef here. Jesse is my imposter, but uh, you can tell it, call what he wants. Hi, Natasha. Can I get three impossible burgers? No cheese. Thank you, Natasha. You're welcome. Appreciate yeah, it. Man. Have a good one. Welcome back to another edition of Jesse's Kitchen, and we got our first co host. Come on, bud. It is Gordon Ramsay in the flesh. Glad to be here. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want to be featured on the Chef Jesse Dub Squad apron, all you gotta do is subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and comment down below your Instagram handle, and a lucky 10 of you will be added. So if you see yourself, congratulations, you've made it in life. Let's go over the ingredients and cook up these Impossible Burgers. All right, quick story time before we get cooking. In eighth grade, I actually was covered in our eighth grade championship lacrosse game by Grayson Dolan. So uh, in this championship game, we actually won and I scored three goals. So I just wanna put that out there. Grayson, a lot of respect for you. But after the game, so many girls kept coming up right past me and went right to Grayson and Ethan because uh, they were so famous. Funny thing is that it actually still happens to me. I walk up to them and they just keep going. All the ingredients are listed on the screen, so if you guys want to try this out, definitely screenshot this and try it. Next, we're going to put it in the Ninja Blender, blend it all up. It's pretty simple. Let's get cooking. Cheetos. <laughs> That's a burger if I've known a burger. They look like chocolate pancakes. We're gonna give my burger a taste first. I double patted it because, I mean, come on. It's go big or go home. It tastes like Pringles. Oh, that's good though. The seasoning is really good. Okay, I'm excited for this one. Bro, your face. If you were to give me this and not tell me it's vegan, I wouldn't know. I am nowhere near vegan. It's never really been on my radar because I'm allergic to nuts, so. It's actually not that bad. It gives you like bean burger vibes, but nacho cheese. Nacho cheese. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I am gonna have a third burger. I cannot control myself. This is now gonna become my new addiction along with syrup and diet ice cream. Now if we just look at one person, it's only 26 grams of protein, 60 grams of carbs, and 35 fat. We're gonna have a little bit of a dessert. I can't stop, I'm not gonna lie. But since this is a cheat day, it's kind of fine. Especially since this is only 160 calories. Grayson, Ethan, you guys gotta get into this. Arctic Zero diet ice cream. We're also gonna toss in another scoop of organic vegan protein. I'm new to the vegan scene, so I'm trying to figure out all my macros while still eating vegan. In this Living Like series, it's super awesome to try out different successful people's routines, like the Dolan twins, very successful people, and they have different habits that bring them success. It's really awesome to see them be vegan, and it's honestly impacting me in a way that maybe I'm gonna have a, a vegetarian night here and there, or, and just start off with that. Within 1,000 calories left in the diet for the day, I have to get 100 grams of protein. Since I'm doubling up and eating both of their diets, it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. So what we're gonna cook up is a giant salad with a bunch of tofu and tempeh. It's gonna be a high protein salad. We got all the seasonings here, some onions. It's gonna be great. All right, the bowl is all finished. It is nice and beautiful. Let's see how it goes. We got some sriracha sauce on there. Not gonna lie, not my favorite meal, but it had pretty good macros. The Dolan twins are extremely active, and not only that, but they do have a podcast and other businesses to run. So kudos to you guys. You guys get a lot done during the day. It's definitely why they're in the position they are. They're hard workers. Grayson told me that he likes watching Greg Doucette, and also that he likes fitness YouTube content. So there was something that had to be done. I had to make the doctors protein ice cream. We are so close to my protein goal for the day that Ethan and Grayson would have eaten. So in this protein ice cream, there is 61 grams of protein, 40 carbs, and only nine fat. And that, my friends, is gonna be a wrap on becoming the Dolan Twins for 24 hours and living like them. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that subscribe button. And most importantly, go check out the Dolan Twins. I'm sure you already know who they are. They're pretty big, I guess you could say. I truly appreciate you watching this far. I will catch you all in the next one. Stay relentless, baby.